I'm Professor Pierce and I am a certified wound ostomy incontinence clinical nurse specialist and today we'll be showing you wound assessment 101. So first we're going to show you how to measure the wound. It's always length by width. So if this is the head up here, we're going to measure the length first and it's always in centimeters. So here we have about 10 centimeters, the width about seven, and then the depth you want to measure the deepest portion. So what I like to do is make a little cross, slide that Q-tip down, and then the depth is about three centimeters. Then you're going to look at the wound and you're going to see, is there any undermining or tunneling? Undermining is a space from point A to point B that's like a ledge. So if this is a clock picture, this is 12 o'clock and six, nine and three, we have undermining from about 10 to one o'clock and you measure the deepest portion. So undermining from 10 to one, about three centimeters deep. And then we're gonna see if there's any tunneling. A tunnel is just a straight shot. So I'm going to just slide my Q-tip all the way down. So I'm going to say a tunnel at about 7 o'clock. And then you're going to measure about 3 centimeters deep. You're going to look at the wound bed next. Granulation tissue versus sloth versus bone. So here we have about, you can say 50% or maybe 30% sloth. Then you're going to describe the wound bed. Is it granulation tissue? Is it pink smooth tissue? And then you want to describe there's some eschar here. So you could say about 5% eschar. You're going to also look at the peri wound. Is it red? Is it indurated? Which is a sign of cellulitis. Is it macerated from drainage? And then you're going to note the drainage from the wound. Is it scant? Is it moderate? Is it copious? And what color? Is it sanguinous, serosanguinous, serous, purulent? These are just some key items for wound assessment.